So as your local Birdman, I feel it's my civic duty to introduce to you a game featuring a fellow fine feathered friend, albeit of the poultry variety. And none other than Chicken Police, an adventure game in a film noir style where you play the role of an old cock at the end of his detective career. And yes, I do mean a rooster. Think of L.A. Noir meets Black Sad. That being said, I would like to thank Handy Games for supporting the channel by sponsoring this video. As you guys are aware by now, I treat my sponsored content like any other video. I just play a game, have a bit of fun, and hopefully entertain you guys along the process. I'm not here to influence your decision, that is up to your own discretion. However, if you do enjoy what you see here today, I will have a couple of special links for you in the description down below where you can pick this up. The game's already live on Steam, Xbox, PS4, and Switch. As an added bonus, however, I do have two Steam PC keys to give away here today. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you how to get in on those. Let's go. I ran out to get a pack of cigarettes, but I left my wallet at home. Yeah, that's me. I'm getting old. My name is Sonny, Sonny Featherland, an investigator for 20 years, and once the star of the predatory division of the Clawville Police Department, one half of the legendary Chicken Police. But buying a pack of smokes is more than I can handle right now. Maybe I should just lay low. Yeah, I'll do that. The most colorful place in the wilderness. For all the gods, what bullshit. The last clucking color left this city years ago. And slowly I'll turn gray too. My office lock is a piece of shit if a dame can pick it. She stood in the darkness. The light painted stripes on her body. It whispered secret little things that were never there in the first place. But she was no zebra. Reality was just a light switch away. Elizabeth or Charlotte? I was sure she'd have a sophisticated sounding name. She had a bygone look in her eyes older than this ancient building and perhaps the whole city itself or maybe i'm just drunk but she was the first womanly thing in my place for a long time so i had to give her a chance all right and there we have it that is going to be our introduction and honestly i'm already digging the voice acting we are indeed playing the role of an old drunken cock all right let's see about um well let's look at this dame here first huh who is this dame anyway and what the cluck is she doing in my apartment on New Year's Eve? I guess we're gonna fawn all over her. Carlos! Stop! Let me introduce myself. My name is Deborah, Miss Deborah Ibanez. You're mistaken, ma'am. Oh, really? Please enlighten me, Mr. Featherland. I'm not a private eye. I'd recommend Philip... M oh, I mean, Mr. Philmar Lowe instead of me. He's a nice guy. Believe me, Mr. Featherland, it's not an accident I came to you. Look, miss, I work for the police and I'm currently on leave. I couldn't accept private commissions even if I wanted to. Not even from a classy dame like you. Am I that easy to read? That's my job. But tell me, since you've invited yourself in, would you like a drink? Yeah, this totally is like um, human modeling with the heads on top. That that looks um really cool. Like everything about the animations are pretty awesome. I don't, I don't usually drink. Well, I've got to have one, and it'd be rude of me to drink alone. So maybe some sherry. If you insist, but bourbon, please. Ah, thank the wild ones. That's all I have. What a coincidence. So come on, 
Spill it from the beginning. Alright, so let's see. We're giving free reign again. We have a couple of these entries here, huh? So here we got Deborah Ibanez. Species Impala. Female. Pretty and fragile. Nothing too special. My drawer is apparently open. Oh. My wallet and my badge. The wallet is real. The badge ain't. Chief Bloodboil took mine. So I got this one out of a pack of cornflakes. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> so I get a bit of toy badge. All right, last cigarette as well. My last cigarette. <laughs> You're lucky I don't have a light, pal. She doesn't seem so dangerous that I need to grab my gun, but you never know. That's better. Now, if I understand correctly, your mistress is receiving threats. What kind of threats exactly? It's a very strange matter. First, there were letters. Then it came printed on a wine bottle's label, sent as a gift. Then carved into a brick, thrown through the window. And finally, they painted it on the wall of the house in giant red letters. I think it's time to dig a little deeper. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some routine questions. Please. That's why I'm here. All right. Focus on what you know about the suspect if he or she is suspicious. Concentrate on that. All right. And we have apparently have a chance, as I mentioned, to become either scumbag or a good cop. I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this one, but we'll see. He is suspicious. I am suspicious. I'm glad you um proved that to me. Why are you suspicious? <laughs> if only it was that easy, huh? A new impression, questions, so many options. Detective Meter's your best friend, it shows how well the question is going, keep it on the positive side, okay? Eh, we'll see about that, maybe I want to be a scumbag. I must be cautious and smart. This dame seems shy, which I can use to my advantage. But I must be careful about what I say to her, or I can scare her off. Let's start gently, and when the time comes, we can go in hard. Okay. Who exactly are you, ma'am? Seems fairly simple. Seems fairly tame. Who exactly are you, ma'am? I'm... I'm not somebody important, Mr. Featherland. You're important enough to deal with such a delicate matter, right? I carry out the wishes of my employer, nothing more. This means simple paperwork, most of the time. You've been thrown into deep water, sweetheart. Tell me, can you even swim? Believe me, this is just as unpleasant for me as it is for you, if not even more. Okay, so let's see. Impressions so far? Shy, doubtful, and we're on the positive side of things, so that's alright. Tell me which part of the city you live in. Calavera Hills, Flowerville, maybe? You're not very confident. Are you sure you're alright? Well, I mean, we already know she's apparently shy and doubtful. Let's not, I guess, make it worse. So let's go with the first one, just ease her up a bit. Tell me, which part of the city do you live in? Calavera Hills? Flowerville, maybe? Look, I... I don't want to answer that. I'm here on behalf of my employer, and not on personal business. Fair point, Deborah. Let's try a different approach. Why did you come to visit me? Why not your employer herself? My employer is Miss Natasha Katsenko. She hasn't been leaving her home lately. Only if she really has to. Katsenko? Let me guess, she's a, a feline. How so? Oh, imagine that. Miss Natasha is afraid. She's scared because of those unwanted messages. And everyone knows who she is. So, she's that kind of woman. I don't know what you mean. Of course you do, Deborah. Thank you, by the way. We're finally getting somewhere. We avoided the point long enough. Deborah's hiding something, no question. Let's focus on that. Be honest and tell me what you're so afraid of. You know, Mr. Featherland, my mistress's partner is Hobart Wessler. Or as most people know him. Ibn Wessler, the Kingpin. Hmm. Exactly. 
Oh, he's a he's a mouse. <laughs> oh, that's good. Feathery God, help me. So you get it now, the secrecy. To put it mildly, I think I understand it all. Wessler, this little piece of the puzzle changes everything. Okay. I'm a living legend, boys. I should have been a detective, apparently. Please, take a look at this. Well, okay. Let's see. What have you handed to me? I know Molly very well. Please note this when deciding whether or not to accept my assignment. Miss Ibanez is a trusted friend. Treat her as gentleman. N. I felt like I'd been hit on the back of my head with a blackjack. Reality tilted. Molly. Good gods. What was her name doing there? I glanced at the opposite wall with the well-worn picture frames. Like an eternally dark hole in the wall. A missing piece. She was wearing a light silk dress and singing a lullaby. The waves caressing her beautiful long legs. Why Molly? Why now? Mr. Featherland? Santino, are you alright? What the hell is this supposed to mean? I don't know anything, Mr. Santino. My mistress told me to give this to you. She said you'd understand. Don't you? Oh, of course I understand, Miss Ibanez. I get it very well. But this case is becoming more and more confusing. It's starting to look like blackmail. Blackmail? Don't play innocent with me. But... All right. When can I visit? Visit? Me? Not you. Miss Katsenko. Oh, yes. You can find her at the Tsar Club. So he mentioned the pictures of Cross, right? Oh, painful memory. Here we go. This is... Uh, this is one of the most beautiful memories from my old life. Before Molly left me and took our daughter. Alright. And we also have a kid. Oh, we hit some lights here. Gonna turn these on earlier? Oh. I'm chilling here in the dark for no reason. Louis C. Hayward. Rabbit. Male. An old friend of mine. He is stuttering heavily when he talks. Number is 555932. No. Thank you, game, but, uh, you know, I, I did my part to immerse myself by looking this up. Hey, Lewis. Am I bothering you? No. no, no. Of course not, Sonny. Old friend. What's up? Could you come over? I've got a favor to ask if you're not busy. Thanks for being so quick, Lewis. Can you drive Miss Ibanez home? I have some things to take care of. That rabbit is freaking adorable. Of course, Sonny. <clears throat> you know anything for you. Thank you for being so considerate, Sonny. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. Goodbye, then. So long, Deborah. Before I visit the club, I have to take a detour. I've got a feeling that this case isn't going to be a one-man job. And there's only one bird in this city I can trust. My ex-partner, Marty. He's going to be at the station. I can only hope he'll be willing to talk to me. Alright, let's go visit Marty. So here's our map scene types. Main scenes move the story forward. These scenes also determine which locations open up or close down. You need to complete all of these if you want to beat the game. Right now we only have the Clawville PD, so main story you have to imagine. Okay, so here we are at the police station. This looks awesome, by the way. The art direction for the game, whew, top notch for sure. The voice acting as well has been great. So everything about this I'm thoroughly enjoying. Are these porcupines? <laughs> they're porcupines and their raincoats have holes in them because of the the quills that's that's good well look at that hey sonny what you scratching out over here i heard the big boss threw you out tough luck boys 
I may not be on duty, but I'm still a cop, just like you. Well, more than you. Wow. Hey, you don't have to be so picky, sure, bud. By the way, you're on luck. Blood boils not in tonight. My lawyer's in charge. Oh, God. That clumsy buffalo is here tonight. If he doesn't end up in a cell again, he's lucky. <laughs> you got it. You're looking for Marty, eh? I see you're still the brains around here, Phyllis. Yeah, I'm looking for Marty. Birds of a feather flock together. I see you're still the funny guy around here. You'll find the giant feather duster at the shooting range. As always. Hey, Royce. I'm telling you this because maybe you'll be able to understand. If this prickly shithead makes another racist remark, I'll strangle him with his own raincoat. Because <laughs> of the feather duster? <laughs> That's good. Well, that's one way to tackle um, racism in today's uh, very tumultuous um, climate. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Hey, whose side are you on, you jerk? Okay. So, let's uh, go on in. Alright. And this is the inside. Yeah, everything, like, every scene thus far, the location we've been to, has looked amazing. This is no different. So over here we have Officer Jardine, who looks like a tiger, maybe, of some kind? A lioness? Officer Barkman? Oh, I, I wonder what that might be. Another doggo dude here? What? Like a Gila monster? Or... Mort. And Monica. Alright. Well... Let's talk to Monica first. Maybe she knows where our boy Marty would be. Hey, Monica. Hey, Boss Bird. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be celebrating somewhere? Every day's a holiday since I got out of here. I can tell. But what are you doing here? Are you here for a file? You know, I'm a little busy right now. Yeah, you could look after a few things for me. But first, I'd like to talk to Mr. Big Beak McChicken himself. Those two prickly assholes told me he's emptying the magazines in the hole. Like always. And if he carries on like that, he's gonna use up all our ammo. So it would be nice if you drag him out of there. You know how this day is for him. <laughs> for him? You know I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I know. Okay, so just sign here and you're good to go. Thank you, darling. Don't mention it, boss bird. Hmm. So something about the day. A little hard in this shooting range, right? Let's go check it out. This is gonna be a hard ride. Last time we saw each other, he had a smoking gun in his hand and I was bleeding. I don't know how we can get past that, but it's worth a try. Oh, he shot me? Is this the last time we saw him? So if that's because of today, then why is it hard on him if he shot me? All right. What's our dude over here? What do we got? Got a poster? Keep your gun clean, Mr. Lawman. Hey, if you let the ammunition boxes open again, I'll kick your clucking ass, Marty. Long thighs and a big gun. That's Marty's idea of a perfect woman. <laughs> Can't blame him for it. Um, not much of a gun on myself, but the long thighs, you know, I'm with you there, buddy. Shooting practice, light switch. Yo, this is actually kind of... I'm loving the scenes in this game. Can we actually do shooting practice? Oh, we can? Yo! Okay. Alright. Let's, let's check this out. I saw, like, in the... In the trailer, there was, like, this entire scene where you're rolling down a vehicle and, like, you're shooting in the highway to another car, so... Ah! Oh, no! Oh, I, I think I just hit, I just hit a, a non-scumbag. She, she was holding a child, so I'm, I'm pretty sure she was at a scumbag, hopefully. Okay, not this time, not this. Oh my god, you know what I did, you saw that? Not only did I shoot her, but I shot the child right in the dome piece. Let's talk to Marty here. Hey, Marty. Oh, well, look who's here. Hello, boss bird. What, are you lost? This is the PD building, you know? Cut the shit, Marty. We're better than this. Well, at least you are. Better than anyone, huh? Marty, come on, let's forget that. What's past is past. Uh, 
Easy for you to say, Sonny. Damn it, Marty, you shot me, remember? I almost bled to death. Hell yeah, I remember. Unfortunately, my aim wasn't good enough. I need your help, okay? That's what you want to hear. Well, it's a start. Okay, I've said it. I won't do it again. <sighs> yeah, right. So, are you in? Just for tonight. Small case, we'll wrap it up in no time. Uh, what kind of case? A personal one. How personal? Very. The kind of case where if you come with me right now, you're not on duty anymore. Ooh, damn, Sonny, stop it right there. I'm in. That's... that's it? Uh, do you know how boring life is here without your stupid, reckless shit? Soon enough, I'll shoot all the ammo in here out of boredom. Right, so, tell me, what's it about? I'll tell you in the car. Ooh, can I bring Bertha? Ah, oh, for the love of... Marty, this is a routine case. You can't bring your shotgun, okay? Bertha stays. <laughs> okay, okay. But at least Susie can come, right? Ah, <sighs> all right. Susie can come. That's what I want to hear. So is that Marty's guns? I saw that here. Hold up. Oh! Wait. I only see Olinda here. Where's Bertha? Marty? Did, did you sneak Big Bertha into your inventory or something? Hey, there were four weapons here. Where are the others? You're not bringing them with you, I hope. <laughs> he has it right there. I told you, he snuck it. I was like, where's the rest of the weapons? Oh, we're going to a bar, aren't we? Yeah, that's the point. And? What? A buffalo killer and two handguns? We're only there to sniff around, not start a goddamn war. Ah, war, bar, what's the difference? Ah, it's freaking New Year's Eve, right? Of all that's furry, you know what? I don't even care. That's the spirit. Alright, so I do believe it is time for us to start wrapping this bad boy up, but I did promise two keys to give away here today for Steam PC. So this is how you do this. Now I know this might have limited a couple of people, I apologize, but it just makes it so easy for me to manage something like this because I want to keep myself relatively headache free on this. But all you have to do to enter for this is description will have a link to my Twitter. Go to my Twitter. If you haven't followed me on Twitter yet, give me a little follow right there. And you tweet at me the name of the rabbit that we called to give a ride to Deborah. That's all you gotta do. Very simple. Tweet at me the name. That's all you gotta do. Once you do that, you give me 48 hours, and then I will pick two winners at random. Simple, right? Good luck to all of you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will catch you next time.